What's his face? Did that match happen? Radiant Hay is here. Alright, cool. Um, so Nick Tanella. Let's get that one. That one sounds awesome. Let's get Kiddo on here. Where is Kiddo? Where the fuck is the cat? Not on my friends list. I always forget. Kiddo doesn't want... Um, why didn't you use Ken? I don't want to use Ken. I don't want to run my main in a tournament where I'm telling everyone to use other characters. I could have used Vega too, but I don't like that matchup either. Well, I, I mean, fucking... I would have been better off than the characters I used. Um, Nick. Where is Nicky? He's in the Twitch section. Alright, got both of them. I wonder who Kid is running. I wonder who Nick's running. Nick is probably picking either a Shoto or Bison, if I know him, which I don't. Kita? I got no clue. One character chosen. I should, like, allow... I should have, like, a Dan tournament, but random select is allowed. So it's, like, Dan or random. So you could practice Dan for a week, or you could just, like, rely on getting a better character through random select. The problem is, I think everyone would do random. But that would still be a good tournament if it was a random select tournament. So Kidda is going with Chun-Li. Kidda is supposedly female, and every girl plays Chun-Li. So that's not too surprising. Nick's actually going in with Sagat. He's got quite a few points with Sagat. I will do a Mega Mode one week. I feel like if I did Dan plus Random Select, like too many people would pick Random Select, and I feel like people would want to see a Dan-only tournament. That's kind of cool. I feel like Chun-Li... Chun-Li Ultra 1 is pretty strong in this matchup. I feel like she wins it. Chun-Li... Whoa. That's bad way. Chun-Li Ultra 1 can actually reverse all punish. In addition to being able to go through... Uh, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, smart. In addition to being able to go through uh, Tiger Shots with Ultra 1, you can actually, on um, point blank block, uh, punish Tiger Shots with Ultra 1. They're minus 7 for high and low. And um, uh, Chun Li's Ultra 7 frames. Which is a pretty big weapon that she has in that matchup. <coughs> Such a late jump fierce. Kiddo could have gotten bigger damage there. I've never seen Nick's uh, Sagat. Whoa, predictive. You don't need to predict with that ultra. This Nick's punish. You should do an FADC combo. That was that was very unoptimal, Nick. That was really, really unoptimal. Even like Tiger Knee does more damage than Tiger Uppercut. Even if you're doing like a short combo, that was unoptimal. Oh, he didn't ultra. What the fuck? He got the counter hit and he reacted to the fact that he got the counter hit, which was good, because it's kinda hard, depending on the character, it's kinda hard to get the uh towards hard kick on a counter hit. Sometimes impossible, I think. You don't need to be able to do dash ultra, I don't think, with Chun-Li in this matchup. Do you? Because I think uh if you throw a fireball, you get wider for the fireball throw. I think even full screen Chun-Li can ultra one punish them. I think. I thought that was true. I like the teddy bear on the right. I guess that thing. Is 
Oh, that was a focus dash forward, but it was way too early. Step kick. That's a combo. He dropped it. It's really hard. It's unthinkable on frame. Nick is representing the DP. Kid is not having it. Focus is good. Those focuses weren't good. Oh, I need dash ultra for full screen fireballs, I guess. Chunli should focus on getting ultra by absorbing fireballs. So he has it. That's good. That's going to do a lot. Ah. Oh, nice bait. Can I just jump off the wall and I throw? Oh, damn. It would have been cool. Might have killed her. <laughs> Hold on, I got something important. Oh, there we go. Maybe Chun Li full screen Ultra One never works, and maybe it works on some characters on their extended fireball hurtbox. I'm actually not sure at all. I mean, I'm no Chun Li expert. I will be when I ever get around to the Chun Li tutorial, which will theoretically be soonish, since she's one of the more requested characters. People request characters that they play a lot for the tutorials, which makes no sense. It's like, why would you want a tutorial for a character you play? You should want a tutorial for a character you don't play. You should want a tutorial for a character you want to play. Are you ready? Ooh. So Nick's going with Ryu, which is who I expected to see him play. There isn't really a show like Oni. Oh. But I have no doubt whatsoever that um, Nick has the ability to play Ryu. Jump Fierce. Fierce is actually a mix up with Chun Li that you don't want to be subjected to. That was a nice full cross under, but he had a bigger punish both times. Um. Oh, that's really unsafe. Nick got some of a punish. He probably should have done like Shuriken at ADC Ultra somewhere in that combo. Damn, Nick, that was a read. He wanted the back dash. He's afraid of the back dash. Just don't throw a fireball, you're up. You don't even need to do anything, Nicky. Kiddo's smart. He's gonna try and take it from Chi. Ooh, that's gonna kill! EX legs! Oh, he dropped the combo. Still killed though. Let's keep it up! Fight! Cross under close fierce. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Kidda had a big punish, but she uh jumped. Got a fireball bait, that was kinda neat. I don't know if that was going to be a big punish, because Chun-Li likes having charge. Biggest punish without charge probably would have been Crouch Fierce into hard legs, which fucking is hard to do on the action. Crouch Fierce is not Chun-Li's optimal damage there. It only gets two hit move, and it only gets one of the hits, which is only like 50 or something. You have to do something else with Chun-Li, you have to do like, um... Uh, Down Roundhouse I think works. Or like, uh, EX Spinning Bird. But not just Crouch Fierce. Oh, oh. Nick got a lucky hit. If he gets an uppercut blocked, it's over. Yeah, he knew. That was unblockable. If Chun-Li blocked that, it was done. Stan Fierce was a bad anti-air in that scenario, because that move trades all the time. She should have been going for an anti-air that doesn't trade. Unfortunately, Chun-Li has to be really picky about her anti-airs to get one that doesn't trade in... Like, Stan Medium Kick works most of the time. Actually, that was close, so it probably would have got close to Stan Medium Kick, which does trade. Down forward light kick works quite reliably, but you have to do it really early. But that usually just wins clean, and you actually get a chuckle out of it. Into Ultra 2. Or stomps. Or just, I don't know. EX Bird, I guess. I don't think you can... I think you have to... I think EX Bird works. It works if you're cornered, I guess. Kid is looking, um... Like she can't control the screen anymore. Ugh! That should have been a big punish! Oh, shit! Nick actually had the win there. That was like a guaranteed kill, and he fucked it up. Oh, that's funny. Nick, fucking scrub. Um, if Nick did a uh, EXDP, Chun-Li had no bar. 
So the only wake up was Ultra to avoid that, which Nick would have been able to punish in reaction with a fireball. Um, stomps isn't hard to get after down forward light kick. You just forward dash. You do the down forward light kick, forward dash, stomps. It's easy as fuck. I do it all the time. Um, but if he did EXDP, he could have got both hits, and then he could have FADC'd the second hit, and that's safe. And then he could have done another DP if it hadn't already chipped by that point. And that would have been... Chun-Li would have had nothing to get out of either of them. It would have just been a kill. I've always gotten at least two stomps with Chun-Li on the down forward light kick on every single character I've ever done it on, which is a lot of them. I used to use that a lot back in, like, fucking... Back when it didn't suck in one of the old versions, when I used to use Chun-Li a little bit. I don't remember it was super a... Is one of them. Your destiny will be determined here. Are you ready? Fight! Down forward, like kick forward dash, stomp, stomp, stomp. Sometimes you can forward dash and do some walking too. Makes it even more reliable. Makes it so you get three stomps instead of two. Regardless, Ultra 2 works on everyone. Keep poking. Sweep can actually anti air. Chun Li's sweep is unusual because it has like an anti air hitbox in addition to just being a low. It actually kind of goes up too. It's like two separate hitboxes. Nick is looking so confident now. He didn't look like he really, like... Wow, oh, Chun-Li's forward walk speed is pretty good. Every character's forward walk speed, for the most part, is slightly higher than their back walk speed. But do you see how Chun-Li... Like, Ryu's a pretty fast walker. Yeah, you could keep up. I mean, Chun-Li could keep up. Um... Ugh, too early. Hmm. Ooh, that was ultra. Imagine if he got that. She got that. That would have been so cool. Jump back, land on the fireball. Kidda had charge. Could have juggled into ultra. That would have been awesome. I wouldn't have been ready for that. No way in hell. Chun-Li's tied for best walk speed in game forward and back. Neat. I didn't know that. I knew she was either best or second best. I never back block speed was the highest yeah. I heard recently it was like Cami or DiCaprio. One of them has a walk speed that's like higher than all other characters. Ultra? Yeah. It looks a little low, but I think. Oh, nope, it was too low. I was about to say it looks a little low, but it's still gonna work, I think, but no. Nope. And that actually killed. Kedda looked pretty good, but like, um, a couple of clutch drops and a couple of failures to zone. Oh yeah, Yang is fast as fuck too, isn't he? I haven't even heard of that bug split. Nick looked good. Kami, DiCaprio, and Chun are all tied for top. Oh. Maybe some other characters, I'm not sure. So, I guess I should do my loser's bracket match, because I'm probably... Nick versus Rathmatix, that's gonna be good. Wait, where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm still I'm still high up. Cool. I can't even do my game yet. Nick, hold on, get back here. Nick versus Wrath sounds awesome. Nicky, Nicky, Nicky! Well, let's look at the speed tiers. Yang is fastest. Followed by Akuma, Kami, Chun-Li, DiCapri, DJ, Gen, and Crane, and Bison, and Vega. Who's the slowest, Seth? Makoto. I knew it was Makoto, I don't know why. Okay, anyway. On the Yang's quick, huh? I mean, I already knew Yang was quick on his feet. I didn't know he was the quickest. I like how Yang and Yun used to be on opposite sides, and then they moved all the characters around for the five new guys, and now Yang and Yun's positions make no sense relative to each other. It's just kind of funny. I feel like they should have made more of an attempt to make the five new characters fit. 
My phone's going and it's fucking loud. Oh, I got a Twitter update. I gotta follow. Yang's really good. Mm, I feel like he's underrated. Really good is strong. So this is an interesting matchup because this is the only matchup where Gao plays Rushdown. Hopefully Nick knows that. I've never seen Mathematics play Dalsim, so this is weird as hell. I think he was hoping for the counter pick, but I don't think he was expecting the fucking the guy. You can supplement your forward walking and forward movement. Oh, Crutch Fierce. What the fuck? Most Fierce works too. Um, you can supplement your forward motion with Sonic Booms, but you've really got to be doing lots of focus and forward motion as Sagat. I mean, as Sagat, as Gal. Which is a bit weird for a lot of Gal players. Also, there are a lot of ranges where. That was weird. He managed to avoid the Ultra, though. I feel like Rathmatics could have done more to push him into it. Apparently, they're just fucking around with these two character, character picks. That's kind of a risky to absorb. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was over. I think he just landed. Oh, that's funny. I like that Sim outfit. The trunk is what makes it. If it weren't for the trunk, it would just be a pretty boring costume. That's a punish. Dropped it. Towards Fierce would have gotten it. What the fuck? I mean, I didn't play the best guy in the world, but shit. Okay. That's not quite optimal. You wanted um jump back fierce, which is Dolphin's strongest jump in, into down back fierce, into back forward, into light yoga flame, or perhaps EX yoga flame. But he dropped the link. Go ahead. Or jump in. Jump in's not a punish though. The throw would have been. It's quite difficult for Dolphin to escape the corner, but Rath had a couple chances. On the forward jumps, he could have done down light kick, the slide. And that would have gotten him out of the corner, and then he could have either teched the throw, or actually thrown Guile, depending on whether he teched the throw. And Guile couldn't do anything except tech that throw. Yeah, use the LK slide. That's what I'm trying to say. Would have been really nice there. Get out of the corner. You got the teleport behind, which is good if they jump forward. You got the... Um, Light slide, you got the back throw. You don't have a whole lot of ways to escape the corner. It's important to be able to actually use them. Oh, that was nice. That was a punish. Just fucking Dalsim jump in just worked. Dalsim jump in is kind of scary to anti-air because if you have a committal anti-air and he teleports, you might fuck yourself over a little bit. That's stand fierce. That's stand fierce. That's the same for like every matchup. You can always stand fierce though. It's just a punish. Fucking Nick, please. That could have been super. Whoa, he's gonna trade. Good trade for Dalsum. Background house? Nope, he didn't like it. I thought it was too far. I kind of agree. You can always EX up flame, that's pretty reliable. Stam Rant House, that's a more risky anti air. Very high commit, tends to trade. Very good hitbox, though. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a very excellent normal pick. He was looking for that jump and he had that hard kick queued up for when he saw it. That was good. At first I wasn't really on board with the with the Dalsim, but then he kinda made it work. Ended up looking something decent. I wonder what kind of characters we're going to see. Ken. Ken does better against Dalsim than Ryu, but not much better. Probably a 5-5. Five, five. 
Dalsim keeps Ken out really well, but when Ken gets in, it's very annoying for Dalsim. And that probably balances out pretty well. From my experience. But but Ken's a Ken's a wasp when he gets in. He's really annoying. Ken can keep pressure really easily and Dalsim can't easily deal with it just because of step kick. And then EX uh oh reacts the direction. Step kick uh I mean not step kick, uh oh no uppercut? It's not a technical, it's a boscus. It's a trunk. I think Ken beats him badly. Or Meme Kick is really good in this matchup. I, mm, I think that's fine. I wasn't expecting it. Ooh. I wonder if he could have got forward dash to EX up. That would have been really cool. Sim can counter hit um, before Meme Kick with just back short. But that's not rewarding, that's the problem. And throwing out that back short is really risky in case you get uppercutted. But Ken, like, Stalsim still wins solidly in Pussies, even with that. Ken beats Sim if Ken is good at abusing focus. That definitely is a big part of the matchup. It's not a punish, is it? No way. Definitely not on the X Fireball. The X Fireball should be plus fans if anything. Shit, that car is yeah. Oh, the Tatsu was too early. <laughs> Whoa, he was trying to hit a limb. Smart. Jump back, fierce. Kara Focus Attack is definitely actually useful in this matchup. Most matchups it's not a big game changer, but Kara Focus... Ooh, nice job DP. Kara Focus actually matters here. Yeah, Step Kick is real difficult for Dalsim. Oh, staying strong. He might have been trying for a strong uppercut and the direction got wonky or something. Ultra 2? I think it might have actually worked there. You have to be relatively close, but he was right about to land. And it's invincible to fireballs for like the whole time it's traveling. You can Ultra 2, Dalsim's Ultra 1, but you do have to be pretty close. You have to hit during one of the earliest hits of Ultra 2 to actually pick up the punish. So what are we looking at here? I've got my opponent, real fine school. Let's do that one real fast. It's survival of the fittest on a global scale. Who among the challengers will make it? I wish I was Kate Red. Kami, this matchup was even in AE 2012. I don't know about it now, but Kami got nerfed and uh, DJ got buffed. So it's slightly better, probably. Probably very, very, very slightly in DJ's favor. DJ's upkick is actually pretty good at um, shutting down Kami's basic mix up. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that was nice. You got me. Ooh, you got me again. Damn, cornered myself. Uh, uh. <laughs> that was not a punish. It's not good. Ah, I got him. Empty jump. Strong tactic. I was hoping he would EX up kick or something, but even without that, I'm happy to have the round. The 
Should've just gone for the combo. What's this? Oh, I meant to do multiple jabs. I don't know how I fucked it up. That weave is pretty good. I don't know why I did that. Fuck, I didn't want to hold that one. I'm gonna have to cancel. Bait, uh, EX up kicks. No problem. Oh. DJ did get a lot of buffs, but all of them were really small buffs that helped him in like particular matchups. Everything was welcome, but at the same time, it still didn't kind of push him into the mid tier. You know what I mean? Or it, he is mid tier, but like mid tier is bottom tier in this game, you know what I mean? It's not really mid tier. He still feels like sluggish compared to most characters, not in his foot speed, but just in, in, in abilities. It's the battle of the century! Fight! His changes were okay. I don't think DJ's like Urian, that's weird. So scary. Oh, that throw was so early, I could have jabbed him out of it. Mm. That was a cross up, I didn't react. Oh, why'd I do it? Why'd I do it? Why'd I do it? I'm showing myself to be really, really, really comfortable with uppercutting, which is not doing me necessarily anything. <laughs> Stay meat kick. I think Garyan's chances for Street Fighter V are high as fuck. I would have liked that. Alright, I'll take it. I'm greedy for going for that. Never go for that versus DJ. Such a late jump, I tried to do it early too. If I'm dropping my plane. Damn, he knows I want the FADC badly. That's the scariest tech of my life. That's kinda cool. <laughs> that was a punish! Uh, I'm going to go for safety. I think that matchup's better than this one. I actually think um, Vega's pretty good in this matchup. In fact, let's. No. Kyler Kami. This is a Kyler Kami tournament for me. One or the other. Alex is neat. It'd be neat to see him well balanced. You know what I mean? Oh, got me. Ah, uh, got me again. Was a grappler, I think. Alex in a nutshell. He was a grappler, I think. I think that was a punish. I have seed for safety then. Just uh, footsies. Not dumb. Shit. That was an example of dumb. That was dumb too. Oh god. Yeah, Alex had like six special moves, and all of them were. Flash chop was okay, and slash elbow was okay, and then he had a bunch of bad ones. It doesn't punish light so bad at all ranges, it punishes light so bad at some ranges. Get your shit straight. That was safe one. I have to hit during the first frame in order to get the punish. Which I won't always do. Shit. Got the knee shot. That actually landed. I tried the FADC but it was too far out. 
Damn, that was too far. Whoa, jump jab. That was cool. That was like super cool. Yeah, see that? This guy shot himself to be a little weak to those. And a million others just like it. Being Elim. So is Elim. Shit. Should have hit a jump normal. That's not a punish. That was too far. I got him. <sighs> Too close. Alright, I think that's like almost all of them, right? GG. That was a GG. That was really good. Sorry, I'm the DJ me limiter of the terminate the tournament. I um actually have a lot of experience anti DJ with Kyle. <laughs> it's actually a matchup I do all the time. Uh, Devaritus versus Scrub style. I feel like I shouldn't have even made it as close as it was. No offense to um my opponents, but I feel like if I played that matchup properly, it would have been hopeless. Gal should on paper body DJ. I agree with that. Or maybe not body, but I feel like it's in Gal's advantage. I don't think body. I mean, obviously, if they also, like, didn't fuck up at all, it would have been much more one-sided. But I'm just saying, I, like, feel like I know the matchup pretty well. And I didn't play it like I knew the matchup. You know what I mean? They ever announce a street ultra street fighter 4 1.05 and study up your uh DJ mo uh player knowledge. I think DJ's a fun character. Oh yeah, DSC is eating. Scrub, um we're going to have to we're going to have to do you later. Sorry. I'm going to apologize to him. Where is he? Six point five, three point five. I think it's a little strong. Let's get Sephiric versus Bagalova. Oh, hold on. He just got here. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some tea real fast. Hopefully, I'll be gone for less than a minute. Easy 
greatest and wildest fighters have assembled from around the world to join in the fight. But only one will be declared the best. Alright, here I am. I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. They can go. So, um, 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 what the fuck is happening? This is that really, really good, uh, Dawson player from Wednesday Night Fight Qualifiers against a very strong Balrog player. Both of these two happen to have their, uh, mains available in this tournament, and they're going in hard. Also, yeah, Capcom hates black people. Training stage. That's not 4K. That's 3K. It's only barely 3K. Oh wait, hold on. This isn't even that Dawson. This is Scrub. I'm dumb. This is Scrub. I was like thinking ahead because I started to look at the next match because I was gonna get because DSC wasn't here, but like he's here. This is just normal ass Scrub. I've seen this Dawson. It's good. I don't know about this matchup. I don't know how... I mean, obviously Balrog should be trying to open up Dalsim, and he probably can do that pretty easily with lots of turnaround punches. The thing about Dalsim is he doesn't really have a fast normal except back short. And I guess down light kick if you want to use that. And, um... Um... Back short is, uh... Doesn't really lead to anything meaningful. That was guaranteed kill. That low short, I mean that low jab, it was going to be cancelled to a charge move, and that charge move was going to be chipped, and Dalsim had no escapes. Um... Armored, armored dash punches are really annoying for Dalsim to deal with. That's like the big thing in this matchup, is that can punish like fireballs because the fireball recovery is so long for Dalsim, and it can also punish um, limbs. So basically just like EX dash rates and shit are just very difficult for him to deal with. And of course, um, oh, I got the bait. He probably could have gotten it down the house there maybe. Of course dash punches in general are good, but especially EX dash punches are very difficult. Uh, yeah, those are children's skulls, actually. It's a bit morbid, isn't it? Uh, the three skulls around Dalsim's neck are, um, from three children who died of starvation in his village. And he wears them to remember, to remember the kids and his mission to get water slash fucking money for his village. All kicks? Yeah. That looked good. Too serious looked like he knew the matchup. That is kind of metal, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Dalsim's from a very poor uh, village. And although he's a yogi and technically a pacifist, he fights for money for, like, water or some shit. There's some pretty funny win quotes about that. Cody's in particular. Lunatic wants him in Wrath to stream next. I guess I can make that happen. I have to do them all eventually. Um, Cody's win quote versus uh, Dalsim is, uh, if your gods are real, couldn't they just make it rain on your village? Cody tells it like it is. Oh, you want some Dalsim lore? Did you know that um, Balrog once killed one of one of Dalsim's elephants with a fully charged turnaround punch? Are you ready? That happened at some point in the Street Fighter 2 timeline. I have no idea when. And there's a grudge match because of this. Dalsim's in his 60s, I think, somewhere up there. He's the oldest of the original eight world warriors. He has a son named Data. Maybe someday. Maybe someday Data will be playable. He could have gotten Dash in, sweet. Yeah, Dalsim got his powers from Agni. In the original games, it was he got his fire powers because he ate lots and lots of spicy curry. 
Um, but in modern games, it's because Agni blessed him with the powers of fire. Mega Man X is a pacifist. Why would you punch an elephant? I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting distracted from the match, dropping some Dalsam lore. I've actually got a pretty good knowledge of Street Fighter lore. If you want to know about other silly grudge matches, um, Zangief hates Vega. Because Vega, Zangief and Vega have completely opposite ideas of the ideal male body type. And uh, Zangief keeps through those lines. He could have done a better combo than that though. Like, um, oh, like a Yoga Fire into the Super, I think, right? Yoga Flame into the Super. Anyway, Zangief literally keeps a picture of Vega on like his mirror um, to remind himself of like fucking... It's like, like he has a picture of Vega and it's like, don't be like Vega. Some bullshit like that. Fun fact about- ooh, that's- cancel it! Headbutt! Oh, it was Stan- it was Stan hard kick. I thought it was a strong. It's not a picture of Vega with hearts, it's a picture of Vega with fucking fuck Vega. The joke about Zangief is that Zangief is every single Japanese stereotype for a gay person. I shouldn't say it's a joke about him. It's sort of an accidental or possibly intentional design with him. Zangief's sexuality has never formally been addressed. He's been platonically interested in uh, Julia Chang from Tekken in that little cutscene and uh, Armika. The relationship between Geef and Armika is like uh, Bangirl and and, and uh, I don't know. That girl a nice guy. I didn't watch that match because of the lore too much. I always thought it was weird they made Zangief into a villain for the movie. Like, literally, Zangief has no villainous qualities whatsoever. The only, like, consistent quality Zangief has is that he's a patriot. They made like they made him villainous in the movie, and then they made him villainous like in in Wreck It Ralph. It's like fucking. Did did anyone actually play the games? So Lunatic Soul wants to fight Rathmetix right now. Nice German flag. Remember Boris and Natasha and their never ending quest to get uh Moose and Squero? They were villains. They were Russian villains. They didn't have to be Russian or anything. There was like nothing particularly making them Russian. In the plot I mean. Obviously, there are a lot of stereotypes that made them Russian. Vega versus Honda. I was playing this matchup before I got here. I got some chocolate, by the way. Um, before I started the tournament, I was doing kind of bad at it, but um, I think I think Vega wins. The thing about Vega versus Honda is that Vega can... What the fuck is this? That's a nice mask. Spectator mode suspended. Alright, it lagged out for everyone. Um, Vega can punish all headbutts with stand forward. And he can punish EX headbutt with low strong. And that EX headbutt punish is a pretty big deal. Lantic Soul is fixing to bounce if it doesn't work. He needs to go to bed, apparently. It's probably late as fuck in Germany. Probably like past midnight. It's well past midnight. Probably like 3 a.m. Or like 5 a.m. Uh, that's not good. Still Vega's mask. 
Did he change outfits? That like seven J thing is a different color. I forget what that's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be a shout out to his mother. Lunatic Soul might forfeit. Yep, he forfeited. Mathematics wins by default. Welp. It's a bit underwhelming, but whatever. Whoa. Um, let's get Sephric versus Begalobo. Alright, where are the supposed big lobos? And who's Sephric, right? I'm kind of rooting for Sephric, you know what I mean? Sephric's a cool guy. I like Rathmatics a lot, too. Rathmatics is also a really cool guy. These are the people I'm hoping, hoping do well. I hope the best player wins. Alright. Megalobo versus Sephric. So this is the the supposed really good Dalsim. CJB, weren't you supposed to enter? I thought you were, like, blowing it up. I, you didn't enter in the tournament, did you? Or maybe you did and you, like... Aren't so good with Street Fighter 2 characters? What happened? I thought I haven't seen you in a single game. Are you ready? Fight! So here is the strong Dalsum of Legend. I have not seen him play yet. I'm already a little intimidated by the fact that he exists. Sephric is a good chem player, and Ken is supposedly okay in this matchup. That was an excellent low strong. Low strong is an interesting option in a lot of as in Ken's arsenal. Ugh, that was punishable. That was safe. That was a good teleport. Ugh. That was counter hit down back fierce. He might have been able to get a link out of that. Ooh, lag. Might have been lag for the players too. Bega Lobo did not drop. He didn't he didn't seem like he didn't have control at any point during the match. He's doing focus stacks well, Sephric, right now. He's got a lot of white health and he's cornered Big Lobo, but there it all goes. All the white health is gone and Dalsim's out of the corner. Getting Dalsim into the corner is um, priority number one. That might have been uppercuttable. Those uh, spears are usually not very safe. Throwing him was a bad idea. Uppercutting was a better idea, but also very risky. That was probably a punish opportunity. Alright, Sephric's not out. He's just, uh, this, is, this is a really good scenario for Ken, but he's got such a huge life deficit. I would have gone for the, uh, the link. You can do light up a cut to EX. Ooh. Oh. Didn't punish it. If that was uppercut, it would have been incredible. If it was fierce, it would have been alright. This matchup is based very heavily in how well you can keep Dalsim in the corner because all of his uh, get out moves don't work and all of his zoning moves don't work as long as he's in the corner. So you want to get him there and keep him there. And that's easier said than done. Put it like that. Oh, Bison. I don't know how this matchup goes. This is like an East Coast matchup. It was like EMP Hero versus fucking T.S. Saban from like fucking 2010. Like an old school matchup, you know what I mean? We don't have these kinds of matchups in the West. Stomp is probably pretty good in this matchup, right? Actually, maybe not. They're blocking too much. I can probably stand hard kicks on reaction to a teleport. Maybe even hell attack if he has time, which I doubt he does. Skipping the time with his main. These things happen. It's kind of fun in its own way. Oh, he got the big connect. He got the 
stand fierce on the grounded opponent. Well, that's a punish. He didn't have the full combo though. Zephyr's still looking pretty confident with his pips in. Those uh, yoga towers are difficult. Maybe if he woke up with EX Stomp or something like that, he would have been alright. But EX Torpedo and EX Scissor Kick, I think, go through it. I'm actually not sure. EX Torpedo is probably really good in this matchup. If I were Zephyric, I'd be spamming it. Dash? Teleport? Nothing. That's that must be a punish. There's no way that's safe. Oh, he went for the X Stomp. He was thinking about it. it didn't work though. Power to throw isn't hard. It's kind of godlike. Every character has to think about how they use it, but like it's not like hidden technology or anything. It's just underutilized, mostly because there aren't that many dolls. In. Uh. That was a good EX uh, scissor. This might be a matchup where Bison should use Ultra 2 and go for the. Oh! Yeah, you have to hit the drill pretty, um, pretty deep for it to be safe. And Bison does have a 3 frame crouch short. I guess it's me now, right? This might be the match where I'm e limbed. Execution Dawn. Who's that? Wait, is that CJB? Who is Execution Dawn? Yeah, it is. It is CJB. Explains everything. All right, let's do this. This is a um, this is a dangerous matchup. I know this guy; he is strong. If I was smart, I would go in with Ken. I am not smart, but I'm going to pay the adequate respects to my opponent, and I'm going to go in with Claw. This guy is a deadly motherfucker, and I need to be deadly in return. You have to do that really early for it to actually be a viable. Oh, anti here. What an interesting response. Ooh. <gasps> that still hit as a whip punish. Oh, I missed that block. Get the claw. Claw is important to my success. Ah, it's a punish. Well, it is a. Oh, fuck. That's strong. <gasps> Shit. That's nice. Blade is so solid. Vegas down for it. Hard kick on proper connect. Is a. Uh, minus four. On like. Point blank command. He didn't react. That was smart. That was smart. Damn, I'd love vegetable costumes. Gotcha. I would like to actually die if Capcom made vegetable costume. Didn't want that. That didn't go too badly. I could have killed with that meter if I was smarter. Left forward into a hard uh, Scarlet Terror would have closed out the game just as well. Take that trade. Hey, 
like that too. You can't chase that down. No way. I dropped it. I tried the X roll. I think I missed the window. Oh, Fuck, that was it. Ugh, I'm such a dumbass. Real wins. Hmm. I didn't feel like I was hopeless. Let's try it again. I should have lost when I when he blocked the EX. EX uh Sky High Claw? Yeah. Turnips and geese. <laughs> we leave Baka, dude, I'm dying. Your destiny will be determined here. DJ should be the weed leaf. They should all be weed leaves. That was so brave. I didn't take that throw. One focus is on. How on earth did I get that? Level one focus is only a um, juggle state of one. It's not a free juggle state, so you can't juggle into anything. You have to juggle into specific things that have juggle potential. Oh, I didn't want that. Did not want that. Didn't want that either. Alright, it's fine. I need one more connect. I need that mask. I need it. Fuck. Shit. Alright. He broke my charge, but I wasn't even looking for ultra. Looking to block. I didn't mean to jump forward there and jump back. Sometimes when I'm walking forward and I jump back, I fuck it up. Might be the controller, might be me. That was nice auto-crack, but only 40 damage. That was fun. That was also fun. I need to stop fucking around. I want that claw. Got it. I had some hope with the X off the wall, I think. I think I could have made that work, but I didn't. Damn. 
I'm out of the tourney. Let's not get him out yet, though. Let's, um... No! He left! I was gonna ride him against Sephiroth. No, come back. So strong. Buffel's run through the tournament is over. But the tournament continues. It's survival of the fittest on a global scale. Two among the challengers will Thank you. This is most like Hugo. Who is theoretically his main? I've only ever seen him play Hugo and Seth. Seth was probably his main prior to Ultra, and Hugo was probably his main after Ultra, if I were to guess. Let's get started! Fight! That was a good whip on it. Damn, even though he's up so much, he's playing so fearless. All well, that shit was really unsafe. I shouldn't say a lot. The theme for next week is that we're all going to be playing Mortal Kombat X. Pick up the pace. Fight. That was a good whip punish. Unfortunately, I think Ken can actually uppercut... Oh, he had an EX... No, he didn't have the bar. Um... What was I going to say? He can actually uppercut, um... Like, medium and hard versions of Green Hand, I think. Right? Ken? Like, a lot of the Green Hands are unsafe on hit. Where's the third strike tournament? What are you guys talking about? Careful, man. I gotta know. Ooh, if only he'd hold it. Held it. That would've been full Ultra 1. That's a very ultra weak move. Oh, that was the wrong combo. He should've just come down with the uh, jump fierce into ultra. And that would've killed. Shame. It's easy to say in retrospect what you should've done, especially in a grappler matchup, because uh, everything a grappler does... I shouldn't say everything, but a lot of stuff a grappler does carries risk. So it's like, oh, you just shouldn't have jumped there. And then you would've won is, um, oh, a Fightcade tournament. Okay. If it's Fightcade, then I probably won't do that well, because there are monsters better than me on Fightcade. Not many, but a few. Like Exotech. Will I will enter, though. It depends on what time of day it is. What day of the week is the 25th? So, Saturday. I have work that day. Sephiroth running that counter pick. This matchup is not even marked by fireballs that much. It's usually just marked by Sagat Stan right, huh? Fireballs have a little bit of weakness to uh, EX Green Hand because they're reactable. But, um, ooh, he thought he had the combo. I'm surprised he didn't. He just attacked too early midair. Um. But Sandhart, Roundhouse, you can't react to with the extreme hand, and Stan Roundhouse is just really difficult for you to deal with. My main is Elena. That. It doesn't even open you up to Ultra 2 to anti-air with it either, that's the best part. It doesn't do that much damage though, to get one hit that is. Oh, that was... Oh, that was still good. Shepherd had a potential whiff punish that he missed. With maybe uh Tiger Knee maybe? I don't know. He still made it work. Autocorrect uppercut got stuffed. Who's gonna be my main? Uh, I won't know until I play everyone, but I'm looking at Melina, Devora, and Scorpion. 
And maybe Quan Chi. Those are the characters I've really got my eye on. All the kids are going to be real neat too. The back dash! But he didn't get the punish. Oh, nice. I don't think I think he was just expecting the jump. I don't even think he was expecting the uppercut. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter what your opponent does as long as it works. Molina's my favorite character in Mortal Kombat. He's the princess of that world. Oh, that was jump fierce for the kill, but SPD still kills. Or does it? But Riss Ultra would have been nice there, I think. Everything's clear in retrospect. Sephiroth can absolutely win this one, but it's a matter of how he plays. The focus stacks are good. I like that he's using them a lot. They're better when uh, Keith doesn't have a shit ton of bar, which now he doesn't. That was a good focus. He didn't even ultra. Fucking towards short. What the fuck is that? Probably supposed to be a car uppercut. No, that would have that wouldn't have been any better. That's a punish. He's really liking those focus attacks. I mean, focus is all right against Geef. He's doing a lot of them though. That's like too many. That's safe on Geef. Unless he has a uh, reversal super or reversal ultra one, he cannot punish. Sephiroth should really win without taking any risks at this point. He should just hit stand hard kick. He's got a lot of screen to work with. He doesn't want to eat like an whoa. Not what I'm talking about. He doesn't want to eat like an ultra or anything. Whoa, he got it. Stand hard kick. Oh, he better. Predator isn't even gonna be out day one. Neither is Jason. Those characters are gonna be added after the game's release. They're not done yet. They're probably barely started. All right, Sephiroth showing he's not helpless. In fact, that was somewhat capably done. Unfortunately, he's locked into Sagat and Execution Dawn, a.k.a. CJB, ex uh, a.k.a. Fluid Torrent, a.k.a. everyone. Um, he's got a lot of options. The curtain is raised on the world's most extreme fighting tournament. Ryu Sagat is forest? actually, like, this is fine. I hope Sephiroth has a good Sagat. That's all I want to say. My cat is purring. He's chilling behind me. <laughs> and eating my bed. Who will emerge a champion? Fight! Tiger Tiger He likes chilling with me. Sure you can. Tiger Tiger I feel like Sagat's alright here. I feel like this is one of those matchups where it's been analyzed to death. And I feel like the result of the analysis to death is that um, Sagat is vaguely more comfortable because he's oh no meter though Sagat is slightly better at doing the things that Ryu has to do in this matchup you know what I mean? I'm really curious to what Tremor is gonna be like oh Tremor's been rumored since like ages it's like Mortal Kombat 3 and he was in Mortal Kombat Special Forces no that's not gonna work good forward jump a lot of people just block that you gotta punish either way it's got recovery like Ryu's Ultra 1, as in quite a lot. Let's keep it up. Fight. He could have uppercutted that jumping, couldn't he? Iron Black, Shinnok, Ferator, and Liu Kang. Yeah, those look like four good characters. Shinnok, huh? That's four really interesting picks. That was, ooh. That doesn't even add a whole lot of damage. Ugh, Zephyrick doesn't have his combo straight. That's good. But he might die, right? I don't know. Damn. That's the problem with counterpicking. Is if you need to counterpick, you're locked into that character and it's just scary. Sephiroth's run in the tournament ends slightly after mine. Um, Rathmatics versus Scrub Styles. 
and then the winner of that, and then we do the last three games. Mathematics. Scrub styles. Mathematics just said he's not very good against Dalsim, so we'll get to see if that's true or not. Aaron Black is definitely going to be the Deathstroke of Mortal Kombat, but have you if you've noticed he doesn't have very con he doesn't have like a conventional like straightforward gunshot kind of move. Have you noticed that? He's got a lot of weird moves. But I actually really like Deathstroke even if his gameplay style was somewhat spammy. I thought it worked pretty well. I feel like Kotal is a cool design. I feel like uh, Aaron is a cool design. Oh yeah, Reptile. I want to play Reptile too. Reptile is one of my favorite characters. He's my second favorite. All my favorite characters happen to be villains. Yeah, Smoke and Noob are out. They're supposedly in the story. Or Smoke supposedly in the story. I don't know about Noob. MKX is going to take over Bath Cup for a little while. I might run two tournaments. Or I might just shift over to Mortal Kombat while it's popular. I do want to uh, help stoke the flames for Mortal Kombat. Since it is a game series I do care about. I've liked Mortal Kombat before. It was a good fighting game series. And now it's a good fighting game se series. It's like fucking... Rathmatics, join! What the fuck? Okay. It's survival of the fittest on a global scale. Who among the challengers will make it to the top? Five hundred K is for no reason. The reason uh, people play Street Fighter over uh, MK games. Hell yeah, reptile combo videos. Is that who you're looking at then, Quillix? I'm probably gonna play Melina, but I won't know until like it. The way that variations work, there's probably gonna be a version of every character that I'm gonna like. You know what I mean? Like even if you don't really like Aaron Black, you might like fucking Gunslinger Aaron Black. You know what I mean? Rathmatics is going in with Vega, which um, I feel like Vega wins, but you've got to use really weird things in this matchup to make him win. Like, uh, you can down back pretty well in this matchup, for example, as Vega, and if you ever get Yoga Snipered, like jump back fierce, you can actually punish it with uh, Ultra. This is an Ultra 1 matchup for Vega. Actually, he made a mistake by picking Ultra 2. Um, uh, you can punish it with Ultra 1, or you can punish it with an EX off the wall forward. EX off the wall forward is just really good. Vega can stay on Dalsim pretty easily, and his anti airs are not so good versus the uh, dive. I like Melina's math redesign too. The reason you run Ultra 2 or Ultra 1 with Vega is because it lets you punish full screen fireballs, which are pretty much only an issue in this matchup plus Sagat. And it also gives you a punish versus yoga towers and stuff like that, and it also lets you anti-air, like, better than Ultra 1 does anyway, or Ultra 2 does. Like, you can get cross-up teleports and stuff. Whoa! I actually played a lot of this matchup in Vila, because there weren't that many characters, there were more Dalsims. And, uh, I played Vega, so... That was a long time ago, though. Most of the characters come really readily in Injustice and in... Whoa, not a punish, not a punish. Not a punish either. Um, I feel like I could have made my main anyone. Like in, in Street Fighter, I feel like there's some characters I'm just kind of garbage at. But in Mortal Kombat 9 and in Injustice, I feel like I could play the whole cast. Like everyone felt a little natural. It's just the game system felt kind of natural. Ooh. Yeah, smart. Jump back strong, I swear, closes out every single Dalsim matchup. Mathematics? I don't know. 
I mean, obviously, I feel like he'd be good as Faye. Um, yeah, Dalsim's his main wrath. I think. Pretty sure I usually see Scrubs play Dalsim. Sinestro was cool in Injustice. I feel like everyone feels a little natural. I loved Scorpion in Injustice. I hope Scorpion feels half as comfortable in, in this game as he does in Injustice. Because if he does, I'm going to play him. I love Scorpion's design. The fucking air teleport punches and juggles. The air throw. I'm going to get over here. Instant overheads. Inferno if they block too much. Scorpion really feels like he's... No, Cabal's not going to be an MKX. That should be a reason to buy it, if anything. Superman was pretty strong early on, but he got nerfed, and now he's not... Now he's, like, strong but balanced, you know what I mean? There are some characters he's pretty good against, but for the most part, he's fine. Ermac is in Mortal Kombat X, so if you want to play him, he's still there. I have a feeling he's going to be a day one top tier, if you know what I mean. South Asia. Exciting switch key. Fight locale chosen. Did you guys know what I mean by day it's one top the tier? Of the Fight. So Rathmanic's actually yeah. sticking with Vega and sticking with Ultra 2, curiously. So Fierce is kinda difficult for Balsam to anti air, but he can still like anti air. Whoa, that's a punch. I think Dalsum could attack that though. Could've got like a stand forward or something now. Stand jab, I suppose that's a punish. Rathmetics has made some serious adjustment, what's going on? Whoa, you get him? Yeah, I think I saw the first frame of uh, Stan Hardkick. He looked like he was turning around. Stan Hardkick's usually a pretty good answer to that. Actually, it only does one hit, and the first hit isn't that strong. Whoa, nice combo, too. Got the bread and butter. That was a deep jump like it. Smart. Just do the block string. Sometimes that's what you need to do. Sometimes your opponent will hang himself trying to get out. His wife is named Sari, or perhaps Sally. The Japanese is never quite clear. That didn't connect. I think Sim gets really low for his stain fears, like a crouching hitbox. I don't think low profile though. No, it does low profile, doesn't it? Because it goes under firewalls if you hit properly. Definitely low fears, low profiles for a little bit. I'm not an expert on Dalsim normals. I know a lot, but I'm not an expert. I know his best left profile is low strong, like the down strong. Well, obviously his best left profile is all the slides. Ooh, that wasn't a punish. Still got the... Sim can slide to get out of that. I'm surprised that he didn't. That's just a free escape. And he can also, um... Uh, teleport to get out of it. Like a ground teleport. Is that a punish? Ultra one would have been a punish. Rathmatic's right, got no one to blame but himself. Ooh. Ooh. Sim's wife is the one in blue. She cheers for Dalsim when he's on the stage. In Alpha, if there were two Dalsims, there'd be two two wives. Whoa, we tried to chip out, missed it. Chipping out is pretty safe versus Dalsim. Nice. Mathematics putting himself on the board. Do I think MKX will have any staying power? More than MK9, but I don't know how much more. Depends on how good of a game it is. Injustice has had a decent amount of staying power. I don't remember if it was at last uh, Evo, I think it was. Which means it's been around for like... Three Evos, right? Two Evos? I forget. Was it? 
MK Injustice Injustice. The last three Evos or was it Injustice? I don't fucking remember. I think two Evos. The battle has begun. Fight! Yeah, still got a dedicated ba uh, player base. Still common at tournaments. I don't know how much it'll have, but I think like, we'll have a good amount. Nice meterless combo. <laughs> Same roundhouse is the ender of choice. If you want to just, uh... Ooh. I would have done a roll combo, I think. You can slide? No, actually, with the EX one you can't slide. You can teleport, though. Teleport's a good punish. You can actually teleport and get the ultra. That's like just a straight up punish. I don't think Scrub Styles know that, or if he does know it, he's not looking for it. But teleport, any character with a teleport can just get out of that. Because Vega has a lot of ground recovery. He can't like recover and then punish you. And he can't hit you if you teleport him. That was nice. In 9 I played Riptal. He was well designed. He was uh, high tier without being overly strong. Damn, the stand Fierce is no respect. Block Button's returning. Block Button is like, uh, it's one of those things where if like you, if you don't play fighting games with Block Buttons, it's going to feel weird. Ooh. It's like it's not inherently worse, but a lot of the shit that you're used to is going to be based around it. It's like uh, one thre one button throws versus two button throws. That's not a punish. <laughs> Why is oh shit? That's gonna hit. Why is Rathmatics doing these baby punishes for that ultra? He could air throw it. He could fucking wait for it to land and hit it. Just empty jump, stand fierce. I think it's the full punish. Block button does get rid of cross ups. You automatically cross up whenever you jump in Mortal Kombat. That was it, right? Rathematics managed to take it back. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Right, We're keeping Rathematics. We still need him. Um, Rathematics versus Execution Dawn. Yeah, there's no cross-up mix-up, yeah. When you jump, and you jump over the opponent, your character will turn around. So all of your normals will change directions. Air normals are universal in Mortal Kombat, but they have, like, every function you can think of. Like, if you get an air-to-air -air connect with a jump punch, you can do air-to-airs. You can do, like, a fucking juggle combo. Even with a jump kick, but it's harder, but jump kicks do more damage. Uh, jump kicks knock down, knock down grounded opponents, so you can do, like, um... Um, jump kick into like juggles, or you can jump punch doesn't knock down, so you can do jump punch into like grounded combos into launchers. And neutral jump punch uh, ground bounces, so you can use it to like start combos, or you can use it to anti air. And neutral jump kick is a solid anti air, but um, doesn't isn't very rewarding. So it's like just in a few options, you have like every scenario you can think of. Neutral jump does change the property if you're jumping normals. Similar to some characters in Street Fighter 4. Most of the um, discussions for Netherrealm games happens on Tester Might, which is a site that is not sure you can. It's like how most of the Tekken discussion happens on Tekken Zaibatsu. I don't think how fireballs pass you through each other is dumb. It's just different. I feel like there's a bunch of new things that you've got to be wary of. I feel like it's less stallish, which I like. Like, it's very stallish in Street Fighter to have fireballs. Just, that was nice, that's funny. It's very stallish to just have um, fireballs clashing, fireballs clashing over and over. Test Your Might is a shithole, but they do compile knowledge in addition to all the shit talking about it. It does create interesting metas between characters with different kinds of fireballs. For example, if Scorpion throws a fireball and Sub Zero throws a fireball, I don't know. If fucking, I don't know if Tekken Fireballs is still up. I've been on that site in years. Um, if Scorpion and Sub Zero both throw fireballs, or rather, Scorpion throws a spear, like Scorpion's fireballs reliant on the opponent not hitting him out of it or it trading, because then he won't get the follow-up combo. 
and Sub Zero's, like even if it trades with another Fireball, Sub Zero still gets the full combo. You know what I mean? So like different Fireballs will interact different ways with trading. What's a hidden tech? That's a hard question to answer. Tech is just short for technology, which refers to, um, I guess, just the ways that moves should be used, or the lesser known ways that moves should be can be used. The curtain is raised on the world's most extreme fighting tournament. Who will walk away victorious? I've had that feel before, Plucky. So here's some more Sagata action. Good fucking luck. Training stage. Fists will fly at this location. Who will emerge I like that as well because it, it's a good answer to the fact that fireballs can interact. You still have like solid fireball punishes. For a lot of characters. A lot of characters are relying on that kind of stuff to win Fireball Wars. For example, Scorpion can't win Fireball Wars with his spear, so he has to use his teleport. Like the thing the thing is those are just those are block and they're completely shut down if they hit like on a weird side because of the block button. You don't have to like react to the side or anything. Just gives a lot of characters full screen presence. That's a good punish. <laughs> but when that move trades, it does not that much. Only like forty damage or something. None of it's boring. Oh, shit. That's gonna kill, I think. I think it's gonna kill. Yep. Moral Combat definitely used to suffer from Samey. I think it stopped suffering from Samey around, uh, uh, versus DC Universe. Characters started feeling all really unique from each other. Now it's like fucking borderline plasma. Now all the characters feel like they're from different games. I mean, obviously it's not as bad as plasma. Ooh, that's kind of fucked with the low forward. The little Kara low uh, tiger shot. That's harder than it looks. It's not that hard though. Nice. He probably wanted to trade. He did it really early. But it looks like uh, Ryu didn't even hit a button. If Sagat trade, ooh, if Sagat trades, he gets the ultra, so it's good for him to trade. So you want to do the uppercut kind of early, and you want to do the hard one. Not the hard one, the, or maybe yeah, the hard one. I don't know which one's the most invincible for Sagat. You want to do the one that's not the most invincible. MK versus DC was not really bad. It was just not very much played. It was weird. It was not as good as modern fighting games. But it was a huge step up from like Armageddon. It was like a bad fighting game, but a good Mortal Kombat game in terms of in terms of competitive. It was like the first Mortal Kombat game that tried to be competitive. A lot of people didn't like it because um, it had fatalities and it had uh, heroic brutalities too. It's just the fatalities weren't very gory because it was a team game. Instead of a mature game, that was nice. That's exactly what I needed. <gasps> I think that was supposed to be meaty uppercut, but um, what's his face? Execution Don looked like he was very dedicated blocking. Yeah, exactly. Bad fighting game, good MK game. Mortal Kombat two and three were competitive, but like on accident. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously they were trying to make them competitive, but they ended up making decently balanced games. Um, so now we're doing top three, right? Yeah. So our winner's bracket is... Fuck. Uh, Bagalovo versus D. Veritas. Where did, um... Nick went down pretty long ago. Well, marked before I could. 
All right, let's get this done. Get hype. Grand fi or winners finals. I really like UMK3. I I think that game is really cool.